Welcome to Science Easy Tech Channel. In this video, we are going to discuss about bar diagram. Already, I have posted many videos related to nursing research and statistics, as well as question paper related videos. Also, if you are going to watch our channel playlist, BSc Nursing Research and Statistics, or exclusively for statistics, we have created a playlist. Also, so you can watch it and you can score more marks. Okay, hundred percent success will be there if you are going to watch our videos because ninety percent of the portions we have covered it as per university questions or how they are asking. And if you are going to learn it and if you are going to write it, definitely you are going to score very good marks. Before moving on to the topic, if you are new to Science Easy Tech channel, just take a moment to subscribe our channel and also to press the notification bell icon in order to get connected with our latest updates. Let's move on to the topic bar diagram. So already I have posted about histogram. Not only histogram, we have posted almost ninety percent of the topics as I have told earlier. This bar diagram was asked in five marks. in the university question paper taken from dr ntr university of health sciences vijayawada andhra pradesh in the year february 2022 so in the year february 2022 this uh, bar diagram they have asked in five marks question so let's see what is a bar diagram so this uh, question gives a detailed explanation as well as clear explanation about bar diagram so if you are going to learn this question and if you are going to write uh, definitely you are going to score more than 4 marks out of 5 marks so introduction bar diagrams bar diagrams are those diagrams in which the data are represented in the form of bars or rectangles so bar diagram means what here the diagram will be represented in the form of either bars or rectangles that's why the name is called as bar diagram so it is otherwise called as bar diagram or bar graph or bar chart whatever they are asking you have to write only this answer so this is a brief introduction about bar diagram next we will see characteristics features of bar diagram okay characteristics features of bar diagram so length different but breadth is same so the length of your bar diagram will be varying but the breadth is same i will tell okay either the bar diagram can be either drawn either vertically or it can be drawn either horizontally what it means means just i will show what is vertical what is horizontal so think uh, so this is the bar diagram which is drawn vertically okay this is the bar diagram which is drawn vertically next is what i told horizontal bar diagram so here in horizontal bar diagram the bars are represented in horizontal direction okay so here the in vertical bar diagram the bars are represented in vertically whereas in horizontal bar diagram it is represented how it is represented horizontally that is the difference then it is equal in distance i will tell what is this equidistant meaning i will show you a bar diagram and i will explain it next is common baseline data okay common baseline data should be there so this already second point i have explained what is vertical and what is horizontal next i will explain the length is different and breadth is same i told na so here you see see the length the length of each bar is different okay but the breadth the breadth if it is 1 cm breadth means that is going to be the same the breadth is going to be the same whereas the length is the length is different see each bar will be having different lengths depending on the data given but the breadth the size the breadth size uh, suppose if it is for each bar it is 1 cm or, or for each bar it is 2 cm means the breadth is same only okay it will not be more than that next i told about uh, uh, 
um e equal in distance what is that equal in distance means the difference between the first and second bar is same as the difference between the second and third bar if between the first bar and the second bar the distance is 1 cm the there in the difference between the second and third is also 1 cm from third and fourth also it is going to be 1 cm fourth and fifth also it is 1 cm so like that it should go off this is called as equidistant it may not be 1 cm it can be 2 cm 3 cm i will show for 2 cm also here you can see for equidistant see here between this and this you have um 2 cm distance between second and third also you have 2 cm distance between first and second 2 cm distance you have similarly between second and uh, third also you have 2 cm distance okay so uh, the length is different see here the length is different but what the breadth is same each breadth no 1 cm only okay then equi in distance see here equi in distance either this is what this is what type of chart vertical chart suppose if it is uh, in this direction means it is horizontal but this the given thing is vertical so next last one is common baseline what is last one common baseline so last one what we have discussed is common baseline so this is the baseline okay this is the baseline for each bar the base is the same okay for each bar the base is the same so here the baseline is this one okay for each bar the baseline is same okay so that is common baseline so what are the characteristics of uh, bar diagram either you can tell characteristics or you can tell properties or you can tell features so bar diagram characteristics are length is different but breadth is same either the bar diagram can be drawn either vertically or horizontally it is equal in distance that is equidistant next is it has a common baseline next we will see the types of bar diagram you have simple bar diagram multiple bar diagram subdivided bar diagram which is otherwise called as differential bar diagram or component bar diagram so what are the types of bar diagram simple bar diagram multiple bar diagram subdivided bar diagram or differential bar diagram or component bar diagram and finally you have percentage bar diagram so simple bar diagram multiple bar diagram you can tell a component bar diagram or subdivided bar diagram or if you know you can tell differential bar diagram also finally is percentage bar diagram let's see one by one first one is what simple bar diagram so the name itself tell this is the very simplest type of bar diagram which is based on a single set of numerical data so you will be having very simple numerical data only single set of numerical data is expressed in simple bar diagram so these bar diagrams are based on single set of numerical data let me give an example draw a simple bar diagram to represent the profit of your bank for 5 years okay so draw a simple bar diagram to represent the profit of your bank for 5 years so what you are going to represent what data the bank's profit so let's see the given data years 1989 the profit is 10 million dollars 1990 it is 12 million dollars 1991 it is 18 million dollars and 1992 it is 25 million dollars and 1993 it is 42 million dollars so let's see how we can draw it so in the x axis then this is y axis okay x axis and y axis so here in x axis you will be writing the various years 1989 1990 1991 1992 and 1993 whereas in y axis you will be mentioning 0 10 20 30 40 50 the profit in million dollars 10 means 10 million dollars 20 means 20 million dollars so you have given the key here profit in million dollars so in 1989 from the given data it is how much so 1989 it is 10 dollars 
ओके सो नाइनटीन एटी नाइन मार्केट विथ टेन ओके देन नाइनटीन नाइंटी इट इज ट्वेल्व डॉलर जस्ट अबाउट टेन ओके ट्वेल्व डॉलर नेक्स्ट इन नाइनटीन नाइंटी वन इट इज एटीन नॉट एक्साक्टली ट्वेंटी बिलो दैट यू हैव टू मार्क ओके नेक्स्ट इन नाइनटीन नाइंटी टू ट्वेंटी फाइव डॉलर बिटवीन ट्वेंटी एंड ट्वेंटी फाइव इन द मिडिल यू हैव टू मार्क इट एंड यू हैव टू ड्रा ए रेक्टैंगुलर बॉल एंड नाइनटीन नाइंटी थ्री इट इज फोर्टी टू डॉलर सो यू हैव यू हैव ड्रॉन ए द रेक्टैंगल बॉर्स एंड यू हैव टू कलर इट ओके सो देन वी कैन गिव द की profit in million dollars so when you are seeing yourself you will know how much profit in the year 1989 so this also this is what yeah visual representation of data okay so this in this only why it is called a simple bar diagram because only a single data that is what the profit of a company they have asked for a period of 5 years okay so that's with regard to simple bar diagram next to moving on to what bar diagram yes multiple bar diagram multiple bar diagram these bar diagram shows two or more sets of data simultaneously that is at the same time generally these diagrams are used to make comparison between two sets of series so here um, for example uh, in your school uh, in different sections a section b section c section d section e section of Fifth class students, okay. Fifth class students. How many boys are there? How many girls are there? Okay. So, but the same thing can be represented in the same diagram itself. So, these diagrams show two or more sets of data simultaneously at the same time. Simultaneously means at the same time. Generally, these diagrams are used to make comparison between two sets of series. Let's uh, see an example. Let's see an example of multiple bar chart. Okay, year nineteen ninety one, nineteen ninety two, nineteen ninety three, nineteen ninety four. Imports and exports. So you can show in the same year what is the import and what is the export. Okay, so in the year nineteen ninety one, it is eight thousand import and export is four thousand. Nineteen ninety two, import is nine thousand, export is five thousand five hundred. Nineteen ninety three, import is ten thousand, export is six thousand. Nineteen ninety four, import is twelve thousand, export is seven thousand. Okay, so this is the given data. So in the gray same chart, we are going to show. more than one okay if it is only one thing if you are going to show that is a simple bar chart okay here we are going to show two or more than two things means then it is what then it is multiple bar chart so see here for imports i have given the key as blue color for exports it is red color so in the y axis you can write as imports and exports and in the x axis you can write years 1991 1992 1993 1993 1994 so here 2000 4000 6000 8000 10000 12000 14000 14, so here 1991 you can write 8000 imports then how much exports it from the given data 4000 so you can represent 4000 Okay, in 1992, the imports what is been given in the above data is 9,000, and exports is 5,500. You can see the data. So already the data I have discussed. That only I am going to mark it here. Okay. So here in 1992 it is 9,000. So between 8,000 and 10,000 I have marked and I have drawn a bar chart. Then here it is 5,500. In 1993 it is 10,000 and it is Six thousand, okay. Uh, Expose is six thousand. Next, uh, in nineteen ninety four, it is twelve thousand. What is twelve thousand imports? Expose is seven thousand. Okay, in this way you have to draw. So in the same chart itself, you can know what is imports, what is expose by seeing that the uh, graph itself. You can tell it. Next, to moving on to subdivided. Or component or differential bar diagram. This is the third type of bar diagram. So next bar diagram is subdivided or multi. No, sorry, component or differential bar diagram. Subdivided or component or differential bar diagram. So these are those diagrams which simultaneously present 
total values as well as part values of a set of your data so it represents the total value as well as part values of the set of the data it is known as either subdivided or differential or component bar diagram what is this total subset of values everything i will show when i was discussing an example subdivided or differential or component bar diagram example stream okay arts science commerce okay in a college okay in the year 2009 how many students are admitted in arts how many students are admitted in science how many students are admitted in commerce so in the year 2009 50 students have been admitted in arts 2 200 students have been administered in science then um, 100 students have been admitted in commerce next to 2010 70 students has been admitted in arts 250 students has been admitted in science 120 students has been admitted in commerce 2011 75 students has been admitted in arts 300 students has been admitted in science and 130 students has been admitted in commerce okay now add everything okay if you are adding everything 200 100 plus 200 300 so total is 350 okay next 120 plus 350 250 120 plus 350 370 370 plus 70 4 40 440 next is 300 plus 130 430 430 plus 75 505 okay ma so when you are adding all the things you will be getting 350 if you are adding here in the year 2020 everything if you are adding you are getting 440 similarly in the year 2011 it is 505 so so in the key i have given for arts uh, subject green color science subject pink color and for commerce subject blue color for arts subject i have given what color as a key it, it doesn't mean the same color you should give whichever color you can give okay it, if you are not giving colors also no problem you can give some designs like uh, designs okay for one subject you can give circles or for one subject you can give plain thing like that anything ma anything it's uh, yeah, because already you have learnt about all these things in the school itself okay so whatever color whatever design you want you can give so first i am writing the number of students in the y axis and year in the x axis so in the x axis here and in the y axis it is what so it is um number of students 0 100 200 300 400 500 600 i have written 2009 2010 2011 2010, as per the given data i have done so in 2009 50 students are what arts students 200 students are science students and 100 students are commerce students so here component compo, component no so subdivided or subdivided so in the same rectangle itself in the same bar itself we are representing all the thing so how much i am drawing 50 students in arts then 200 students from 50 150 250 till 250 i have drawn so because from 50 i have started so 50 150 plus 250 is 200 okay so from here I have drawn from 50 to 250. That is 200 because 0 to 50 is what arts. From 50 to 250, that is 200. Totally, it is 200 only. Okay, so it is what science. Then 100. Another 100 is commerce. So from 250 to 350, I have to draw. 250 to 350, how much? Ma, 100. Okay, so if you are adding everything, it comes 350 now. So here the lab. top end is in 350 so when when i am asking how many students are uh, in um, art subject by seeing the graph itself you can tell it is 50 then how many are in science 50 remaining 50 100 and here 150 so 
200 then how many are in commerce 100 students similarly in the year 2010 70 students in arts 250 students in science and 120 students in commerce so let's see so first we have to draw 70 students in arts then 250 students so carefully you have to draw up to 320 you have to draw then from 320 again 120 students are in commerce so totally your graph should be where in 440 so total also you are able to tell how many students have been admitted in that year in these three disciplines and also individually also you can be able to tell that's why subdivided also you can tell as well as total also you can tell from the same graph next in the year 2011 75 students in arts then 300 students in uh, science and 130 students in commerce so totally 505 students okay so this is with regard to subdivided bar uh, diagram next we will see percentage bar diagram which is the last one here name itself tells my its percentage bar diagram percentage bar diagrams are those diagrams which simultaneously represents different parts of the values of a set of data in terms of percentage name itself tells when the data is expressed in percentage then it is percentage bar diagram for example age in years less than 25 years 25 to 40 years 41 to 60 years and more than 60 years percentage okay 24 percentage 63 percentage 12 percentage and 1 percentage so you can uh, you can uh, mark in y axis percentage whereas in x axis age in years so less than 25 years how many are they 24 24 percentage then 25 to 40 years how many are there 63 percentage then 41 to 60 how many are there 12 percentage then more than 60 is 1 percentage how you can tell that is percentage means when you are adding all these values it should come to 100 for example 63 plus 24 how much yes 87 87 plus 12 yes 99 99 plus 1 yes 100 okay so this is percentage bar diagram next we will see the advantages and disadvantages of bar diagram advantages of bar chart easy to draw and understand okay easy to draw and interpret shows each data of category in frequency distribution you know how much frequency it occurs then easy to understand than table in the tabular form sometimes it may be difficult whereas this is a graphical representation or in a diagrammatic form it is expressed no so easily you can understand the thing so it is more advantages than the tables then can easily compare two or three data sets for example uh, component bar diagrams or subdivided bar diagram or multiple bar diagrams and all you can compare more than two sets of data okay it can be read more quickly and accurately so by seeing itself you can read it helps to compare data sets which are independent of each other for example one subject our subject is independent of science uh, subject similarly males are independent of females like that no one one thing you can compare with other thing okay so one independent thing you can compare with another thing so it can compare the data which are different or independent of each other then used in various industries okay it is used in various industries so you for example in one example itself i have told about imports and exports so similarly this type of bar diagram is very useful in various industries because it compares the sets of data so the advantages of bar diagram are easy to draw and interpret shows each data category in frequency distribution easy to understand than tables can easily compare two or three sets of data can be read more quickly and accurately helps to compare data sets which are independent of each other used in various industries next moving on to the end of the topic that is disadvantages of bar graph so it often requires additional explanation along with the graph you have to explain it it do not show interrelationship between the 
activities okay it just shows a visual representation of the data but it do not explain the interrelationship between variables or activities like that so it is used only for discrete data mostly but in one example i have given continuous data also but most of the time it is expressed only discrete data with regard to discrete data continuous data i have posted a separate video okay so more you can watch our channel playlist uh, statistics for those videos and all hope this video is clear for you or if you still have any doubts feel free to post your doubts in comment section as i have told earlier most of the topics we have covered in our channel playlist watch it and get benefited keep supporting to science easy tech channel if you like my video please give a thumbs up share and subscribe to our channel thank you friends